from head to toe. He wants to make sure there's no funny business going on. He's a fine, fine official here in the CCW. Yes, he is one of the finest. Looks like Classy Chris is going to be starting it out against Steve Gator Kern here. That's this right. is going to be a good match up here. Chris is like a bull. I mean, he'll bear right at you. He's yes, not afraid he of anybody except maybe uh, Hoss or uh, Cyborg or, uh, well. Your wife. Uh, even I'm afraid of her. From what you've been saying about her tonight, you know. Yeah, at least I got one there, Eric. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. All right, Gator Steve Curry to the ropes now, but it's Classy Chris taking the brunt of his momentum. <laughs> the leapfrog a little early there for Classy Chris. He took a hard arm there to the side of the head. That he did. And that's not where Chris wants to be over there in the corner of the West Coast faction. No, it's not. These guys have been around way too long. They know every trick in the book. Hell, they might have wrote the book. They've been around long enough, they could have wrote a couple of books. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, you know, it, it really breaks my heart. I remember when I knew that B. Brian Blair was going to come here and work. I, mean, I was calling my friends. I'm, gonna, I'm getting to work with B. Brian Blair, you know what I mean? That's just great. And then he turns out to be such a jerk. It was really disappointing, you know what I mean? You ever, you ever look forward to meeting somebody, and then you meet them, and it's just your whole image is blown? You just wish you'd never met them? Yeah, that's kind of how it felt when I met you. <laughs> well, thanks, Glenn. But you know how I feel nonetheless. We got Dirty Dennis in there now, and looks like he's taking a lot of punishment. B. Brian Blair, like you said, he's been around for a long time. He wrote the book and how to, how to get by no matter what you got in there. And Dirty Dennis taking the brunt of the West Coast faction right now. Like I said, Classy Chris on the outside. Oh, he looks Taking like he shot. got one there. Steve Kern gets a two count on uh, Dirty Dennis. He's got some kind of a choke hold. I can't see from where I'm at to whether or not he's choking him or not. Classy Chris. It, it, it's... Uh, Difficult for me to figure out, you know, I don't root for anybody, but normally, you know, we keep it to ourselves, but we have in our minds who we'd like to see win and lose it. And uh, I'm really kind of torn here. I mean, Classy Chris and Dennis can be the biggest couple of jerks you ever want to meet. Well, like you said a couple of weeks ago, though, Eric, the CCW pass, I'm behind the CCW no matter what. Classy Chris, he may look, he may not look that good. He may talk a lot of trash, but like I said, he wants to save the CCW. If nothing else, he wants to save it for himself. B. Brian Blair, excuse me, Brian Blair getting a whip off there from Dirty Dennis. And now classy Chris. Nelson back in the ring, taking the two B. Brian Blair. That's a lot to say there. Uh, say that three times fast. B. Brian Blair. B. Brian Blair. B. Brian Blair. B. Brian Blair. You're the man, Eric. <laughs> the man nobody else wants anything to do with. <laughs> Dirty Dennis here on the outside. I tell you, Randy Elder's got his hands full tonight with these two guys. These referees always have their hands full whenever you're dealing with these West Coast boys. Then you throw a couple of guys like, oh, Classy Chris going to the wrong side, looking for the tag, but he crawls to the wrong corner and got his hand out to Gator Steve Kern, who damn sure ain't going to shake his hand or That's even tag That's definitely him. the wrong place for Chris Nelson to be right now. Yes, it is. He's totally at their mercy. Oh. The West Coast faction there making a wish at uh, Chris Nelson's expense. Yes, they are. Big stomp. Chris Nelson has really had the brunt of this whole match right now. Oh, the big chop. You got to be down here. You got to come to the live show. Feel the chop.
Right now, Gator Kern getting in the wrong corner there for a minute. Dirty right, Dennis man. back in, handing in the hard Howdy, left and right. See. Man, we got all four men in the ring. Randy Eller not even attempting to get any of them out of the ring. Did that surprise? Does that surprise you with the West Coast faction? Here we wait a minute. Here, here they here come now. Marshall Law, we got the you'll entire. love it. Cyborg now hitting the ring. Referee Randy Eller still calling for the bell. All right, so I guess there you have it by disqualification. Here's your winner, the Hitman. The Hitman win the match by disqualification. There's a one fall, 30 minute time limit. Introducing first, from Random Parson Gnome, he's accompanied by Classy Chris Nelson. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, to uh, take a look at the collective. Last time we got together. I bet you his head weighs 30 pounds. You think? Yeah. Now, he didn't shrink much when he took that hat off. That head's still there. The hat's gone. That is a big individual. He almost, he, he almost just stands well over the size of the collector. But then again, when you've got Classy Chris over there, you're not just dealing with one person. That's right. That equals problems. Randy, your referee for this one. Hoss and the collector set to go right here. The old Galley Civic Center. I want to tell you about some stuff we got coming up. August the 29th, that's a Saturday. We're at the Palm Bay Community Center at 7 o'clock p.m. And then in September uh, the 4th, we'll be here at the old Galley Civic Center at the TV taping. Then the next night, September the 5th, we'll be at the Kissimmee Civic Center. And then September 11th, oh, our big show in the land, Stetson University. You don't want to miss these shows. Now that we're broadcasting all over the area, we got to start doing some shows for people. Hey, school, and when you're in school and you got the opportunity to cut loose, there's no better way than CCW. That's true. Stetson, you're going to find out how good it really is. Hoss, who's right up there. Are we looking at some sort of a David and Goliath kind of thing? I mean, Collector's pretty good, pretty good size. Looks like it to me. I don't. The Collector's saying, "Did he pull my mask?" Hoss is just huge, and he's backed him up with no problem right into the corner. And just 
Smack. Down smack. it goes. All the way down to the ground. The power behind that smack. Off of one smack. And, and the collector's not exactly a master CGI when it comes to bulk. There is no bulk. <laughs> no. No. Not at all. Classy Chris up there. And once again, he's moving pretty well for a guy who's got that neck brace on. That he does. I, I don't believe that neck injury for one second. Show Not me a medical second. statement. Yeah. Show me something. Well, they said he had one, but I haven't seen him bring it to us yet. Yeah. Said I, that two weeks ago. I think he was ordering Chinese off of it. <laughs> a whole bunch of booty. Power and elbow. And Haas just throws him, throws him off like just like there's no, nothing there. Classy Chris trying to find a way to get the collector, find some sort of way to take care of Haas. I'm sure he'll find a way to, to get involved somehow. He usually does. Well, you can pretty much guarantee that he'll be in the ring or he'll be somewhere out there. The collector has got his hands full, and Haas right now has got a handful, an armful, of the collector's head and a punch to the back. Another punch right into the corner. Big, he laid that elbow on that big time. A couple of boots, one in the midsection, one in the shoulder, one in the back. He's hitting about everything on his body. And out of the ring. And throws him right on out. Onto that concrete floor. No mats, Tim. You know why? Why is that, D? Mats are for wimps. Extreme Randy laying the count in. Classy Chris trying to come up with some sort of a way for the collector to get back into this. I can't say there's a whole lot of options, but we've seen the collector, and he's come up with some surprises. He's come up with some things that even I didn't expect. Haas picks him up, but he just, what's he going to do? Oh, backbreaker. Laid it in Haas. One, two. Got his foot on the ropes. And Randy sees the foot on the ropes count, stops the count of two. Collector. Collector taking his time getting back in the ring. We're glad you're with us, everybody. Hey, spread the word. Coastal Championship Wrestling reaching a potential three quarters of a million viewers. That's right. Hoss goes down and he goes down hard. That's the only way Hoss can go down. Channel 26, WNTO. Not only Brevard County, not only Central Florida. We're going to take over the state. We got SBR. North Florida, we got Central Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers, Key West. Look out. The only independent wrestling promotion in the state with the television show. Growing. We are stronger than ever. And right now, we're seeing something we haven't seen. The collector on the offensive. Work that knee. Oh, he, oh he's going to. He has really got. He tried to stretch him out, stretch that back. Haas got his hands on the ropes. Collector going up top. Yeah, but he's got to he's hurry. Haas caught And he gets caught. Down goes the collector. Oh. Off the ropes. Haas. And, and that's just got to be like getting hit by a truck. Little boot to the head. Little little spin wheel on his on his on his noggin yeah huge Hawks lays him out with another clothesline big one i think the collector looks like he might be knocked just clean out well that mask on is kind of hard to see what yeah what he actually looks like or what he feels like but he's been taking a lot of punishment here comes some more it's a bear hug he's got that big bear hug and here comes classy chris classy chris coming in kicking the 
I'd say with the interference of Classy Chris, Haas yeah. looks to be our winner, but we don't have an official word yet. Classy Chris inviting somebody, one of the hundreds of fans here, into the ring with him. To come in and do some scrap. Haas has some other ideas, though, and he's ready to find out how damn that Classy really Chris is. Chris takes a shot. If that neck wasn't hurt before, it's hurt now. And he's holding it like he's in pain. Here's your winner by disqualification, Haas. The big man Haas takes it. Haas is your winner. And CCW security doing what they can to uh, take care of Doing Classic what Chris. they do best. Well, we got a chance. Let's cut away. Pay some bills. Tim Phillips, Eric De Niro, Coastal Championship Wrestling coming right back. He's going, to, he's going to work on that knee now. The longer he keeps that leg up there, that knee is going to feel it. It'll buckle. It'll buckle. It's only meant to, it's only meant to go one way. And Dennis Without went the other way. Oh, oh boot. big Look at that. boot. Big boot. Maybe Dennis was just uh, playing possum there. And there's uh, the tag. A little bit. Get that fresh man Chris in there. now. Here comes Chris Stomping Andrews him. of the Thrill Seekers. The whip. Off the ropes. Oh, the big spear. Big spear. Taking him up. Slam right down into the center there, Eric. He's like, planting him. One, two, two count. Two count. Not commodity. Can you see just a little bit of worry? Can you can you see the? Can you see it? Just I'm starting to see it on Ed's face. Yeah. And Real Hollywood. Oh, he, Ed Dean. He's he's practically begging. He's looking for a way not to have to deal with the Brooklyn Bad Girls. Five minutes. Oh, look at this. But even that, he, he got it to where it's a non-title matchup. Sure. I don't know how he did it, but Look, that says something for his manager skills. Chris Andrews has a submission hold, and he Sammy keep it. is occupied with Hollywood Ed Dean. Now we got, now we got the hot commodity in Dennis. Dennis has been thrown out. They're gonna hoist Chris Here we Andrews. Go. What do they got in mind? Here we oh, go. Oh man, you know Here it's gonna comes. happen. Oh, the Big leg drop right there. I'm afraid that it's over for the thrill seekers. I don't see Chris getting up from that. And but Ed Dean, Ed Dean is Ed Dean's costing. He's not Ed Dean just cost his tag team this match. It's, it's, a, it's a real possibility. Hollywood was up there so long. Hollywood was up there so Ed long, Dean Sammy never had a chance to make a count. Them this now match. Sammy finally paying attention, and uh, they're going to the about cover for one, two, two. And he kicks out. And he kicked out. They'd have had a 15 count. If the referee would have been at looking least. at it a minute ago. Oh, a shot to the head. A couple of shots to the head. And it's coming back now. And a big clothesline. He gets them both. It's a twofer. Two for the ride. Two for the head. Bang right there. Noggin knockers in stereo. They'll feel that in the morning. The Black Nation boy making some sort of. Uh, Sammy's, Sammy's attention. He's trying to get back into the match. Chris hoist up the hot commodity. Looks like he's Dennis going off the for the top. head. Oh, he is down. I think this is over. I think the Thrill Seekers. One, two, three. It's over. Thrill Seekers are your winners. Ed Dean cost his team that match. He cost him that match. And now it's time for Ed to pay the piper. The Brooklyn Bad Girls in the ring. Five minutes with Ed Dean. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the Thrill Seekers. We could have had new tag team champions. It's time for five minutes of pain, poopy pants. It's time for Hollywood Ed Dean to pay the piper, so to speak. Whatever the president has said about the title, there's been no change in the stipulation. Hollywood Ed Dean. That's true. Nikki and company. He's got the bad girls. He's got to be in there with them. We've got the commissioner, Jigolo Jimmy Del Rey. I'll tell you who that is, Ed Dean. That's the Gigolo Jimmy Del Rey, I'll former WWF, WCW superstar. You too. 
out of the ring now. He's the commissioner. He's the boss. He's the acting commissioner. When he says go, he's the big guy to get out of that ring. He's the man in charge for right now. The president said it wasn't a title match, but nobody can stop Hollywood Ed Dean from sticking in the ring with the Brooklyn Bad Girls. And to tell you this, too, if I was bad intentions, I'd go ahead and leave Ed in that ring. He cost them that match. He really did. He really did. He, he, well, kept, he kept Sammy J occupied when they had the pin. They had it. You're on your own, Porky. All right. Well, he's stolen. We got... Hollywood Ed Dean's got to pay the price. And there goes, there it goes Nikki and Nina. They get him for five minutes. Five minutes all alone. Oh. It's the longest five minutes of Ed Dean's life. Off the road. Oh. Big double clothesline. Don't get no better than that. Jimmy Ray, the interim, interim commissioner, ordered bad intentions out. Out of the ring. Ed Dean in. And I can't state it enough. Ed Dean cost. His team, that match. No doubt. And if this had been a title match, not only would he have to stay in there with those Brooklyn Bad Girls, they'd have lost their belts. You, you got it. You got to be. They'd have had four people in there beating him up. Bad intentions along with the Brooklyn Bad Girls. Apparently, there's no rules here. There's no rules. Oh! Oh! What a leg drop. She dropped it right on him. Holy cow. Oh, Hollywood's seen better days. Harry, that's for you. Here's something else for you. Double team. Hollywood all, knows all about double team. <laughs> yeah, I guess he but does. But unfortunately, it's working the against him. The master of it. It's working against him in a big way. And he can't oh, escape because the oh, oh, seekers, oh, Chris and Dennis, oh. are on the outside. Sing me a song. Sing me a high note because that's <laughs> all he's got left. A man without a country right now. Hollywood Ed Dean on his back. Nikki and Nina. Now, oh, snap that neck. The Brooklyn Bad Girls, this is this is it. This is payment. The Thrill Seekers took the match. They didn't take the belt, but they took the match. Fans called for a him DDT, down. and there it is, a double DDT. Hollywood Ed Dean has never had to pay a price so high. He has He's paying right now. One, two, three. It's over. Here comes the Black Nature Boy. Here comes Bad Intentions. They're back. They clear in the ring. Bad intentions working Chris in the corner while the Black Nature Boy pounding Dennis. The referee Sammy's been Sammy's, thrown from Sammy's the ring. Sammy's been thrown out. This is total chaos. Total chaos. Carnage in the ring. Ed Dean is down, and I believe he's down for a good long while. Championship wrestling at this time. I'd like to bring out a couple of guys. We don't know much about one of these guys, but we know a little more than we want to about the other one. At this time, I'd like to bring out the ever popular, classic Chris Nelson. And he is accompanied by a mysterious man known only as the Collector. Classic Chris Nelson, the Collector, making their way to the ring. We uh, haven't seen him for a while. Interested to hear what. Classy Chris has on his mind.
wrestler in this federation, but it also involves the tag team champions. Bad intestines, those bunch of little pretty boys. There are only two pretty boys in this federation, and you're looking at them here. So what I'd like to have right now is a moment of silence. What I would like to have right now is a moment of silence for the conspiracy theory itself. Your future Coastal Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Classy Chris Nelson, Dirty Dennis Allen, the hip middle back, and what is Bad Intestines going to do about it? Tell them, baby. First of all, I would like to say that it's a pleasure to be back in the Art Pit of America, Melbourne, Florida. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Let me hear you. And you know what else is a... It, it warms my heart to know that all of you people recycled enough aluminum cans this week to buy front row seats. I'm glad to see the economy is on the rise here in Melbourne. And I'm the only man to pin bad intentions in the tag team match. So bring on the pretty boys, the hip men are back in town, and there's some dues to be paid, and it starts with bad intestines. I guess they'll come out when they're darn good and ready. Here they are. Bad intentions, the CCW Tag Team Champions now in the ring, set to go up against this new team of the Hitmen, Dirty Dennis and Classy Chris Nelson. And now here he comes, the real Hollywood, Ed Dean. Eric, I just feel betrayed. We knew all along Chris Nelson's injury was a hoax. Oh, yeah, we did. And now he brings in the collector. Turns out to be Dirty Dennis Allen. Come on, dude. The thrill seekers. Do they think that, you know, people in Melbourne are that dumb? Yeah, they do. They really do. They always refer to us as the armpit of America, all that kind of stuff. I just really, that just really, it really upsets me. Chris sits out here trying to get all that. 